Hello, uh, today I would like to share with you some innovations or ideas that you could implement and help the world become a better place and if you are lucky you could earn some money out of it. First of all, I know this um, idea has been tried but uh, in a very little scale we could think and uh, on how to make it more efficient and reach as many people as possible um, number one is you can help people trade shares using their mobile phones by maybe creating an app and uh, first of all Remember, to trade in shares, you need a CDS account that is opened. Um, the CDS is the Central Depository Center account that uh, will enable you to uh, trade in shares or buy and sell. The idea, the aim of the idea is to work this way, that you partner with an insurer, uh, with a, with a, um, sorry, um, stock broker, and um, a telephone service company. So you build an app that is integrated to the mobile money service so that uh, the subscriber can be able to buy shares through the mobile money service. Now the idea also, um, you can have a financial expert who does analysis and advises your customers or your subscribers or your app users on uh, which stocks to invest according to their needs whether long term or short term. You can also share knowledge on how stocks of various companies are performing. This advice is sent via text or through the app. The objective of this idea is to make share trading a common alternative to the general public also make it easy for everybody to buy and sell shares because the, all they need is to work it out on the phone also to make to make it easy for companies to roll out their IPOs initial public recovery the companies that are listing on the uh, stock markets also it would make it easy for stock brokers to facilitate the stock transactions that's number one number two an idea also that would make things easy for people is to sell subscribe uh, subscriber products. Um, the aim is to make to give your customer a continuous supply of quality goods, especially essentials. You know there are those things that people either find it inconveniencing to buy or to they forget to buy when they go shopping um, for instance men's socks or uh, boxers which they will need to change from time to time you want to avoid a michoki moment or a kidero moment where they were caught in public with torn socks so you want to avoid the embarrassment of being caught in public with a torn you know, socks 
And so how it will work is that the customer will visit your online shop or your website or they will download your app on their phone. Then they will select the product they want, may it be socks, underwear, or cufflinks, or colognes. Then their selection is saved in an, whatever they have selected. And the customer then chooses how often they want the supplies to be delivered. It could be monthly, quarterly, ETC. The customer then would select the payment method and enter their personal details and their preferred place of delivery. Then the customer will receive a confirmation, which could be an email, an SMS, or a phone call prior to delivery. Of course, first of all, they will receive a confirmation of their registration. And then whenever a delivery needs to be made, you notify the customer so that they confirm where their package is to be delivered or dropped. And then that, that is done and it is repeated as long as the customer is subscribed and paying. So there's another interesting innovation that you could do. A lot of people have done it in various projects, uh, items you can be creative and think of what subscriber item you could introduce. You don't have to create your own um, platform from scratch. You can use other platforms like um, Shopify to create an online store. And then as you grow, you could set up your own website. Another one, and this would be interesting, especially this season that uh, we are dealing with wheelbarrow economies and mokokotenis, we could modify a motorcycle rear um, rim actually so that you are able to incorporate some blades on the rim of the motorcycle and turn it into a chaff cutter so you could uh, find a way of creating little blades and attach them or fix them on, a, on, the, on, the, on the rear wheel of the motorcycle so that the motorcycle guy can as well use his motorcycle as a chaff cutter at home, especially in the rural areas. So since these, most of these motorcycles have um, an arrow rim that, that is the, it's not the one made of wires, then um, it is easy to do this. The blades can be removable so that when the guy is using his border border on the road, he doesn't have to have the fixed blades. But when he goes home, he can easily fix them, maybe by screw or plugging them in, and use them, use it as a chaff cutter, you know, um, as well. So you can work around the idea and see how it works for you. The fourth idea is to make a full size wall, electronic wall calendar. You know, we have seen some small ones, usually in the banks and offices, that shows uh, the day, the calendar date for that particular day and time. But I'm talking about an electronic calendar that is as big as the wall calendar, maybe showing a full month or two months or three months. But now this is a perpetual calendar, you know, one, you buy once and that's all. So it's, it's electronic, it shows, um, it's digital, it shows a full month and it's on the wall and maybe it can use batteries or it can also be, uh, you can make one that is plugged uh, to the uh, power, to main grid power. 
or you can even make one that uh, uses solar and then it can be a good gift item you can uh, find someone to design uh, um, um, you know an, a guy that has done electrical engineering who can design a good uh, circuit design the technical drawings that are easy to mass produce um, you can work around this idea and come up with something you must be sure that um, uh, you make a prototype you test it maybe if it all goes well then you can mass produce another idea is uh, you can also i have not seen this but i'm sure someone must be thinking about it how about coffee bags we have tea bags but i have not come across coffee bags i don't know how this will would work out but it would be worth the trial since i'm sure there are a number of tea lovers around here then um, for those who are motor enthusiasts they could try a rubber bumper you could use old tires i don't know what you do with them maybe you melt them or you make them to create a bumper made of rubber so that if you are the car with a rubber bumper you know bumps into another car there's no no scratches no damage you just reverse and go it would also be um there would also be less injury for the pedestrian this is a something to think about rubber bumpers I think some cars used to have them a long time ago, but I'm not sure whether there exists a rubber bumper steel. Most of them are plastic, which when uh, they, they, they get uh, marred or bent or twisted whenever there is an accident. So a rubber bumper will do quite well. Uh, you need a good quality rubber like the one used to make uh, uh, car tires another idea you would uh, tr want to try uh, now this much more advanced collision absorbers now this is to try to minimize the impact of a uh, medium speed collision between two vehicles you would put something like um, shock absorbers, but this time not on the wheels, but maybe on the bumper or somewhere in between so that when the car collides, then these devices absorb the shock and minimize injuries to the occupants of the vehicles. Uh, together with that is uh, you could also make some under rollers so that um, for those who like um, driving cars with lower ground clearance or you don't want to raise your car when you bring it here but you are afraid that you get stuck on high speed bumps you uh, someone can come up with rollers that prevent the car from stacking on um, high speed bumps so that the car simply rolls over you know like the rollers used on convoy their belts if you have been to the airport cargo section you see the rollers that are used uh, to move cargo they are quite manual so they are rollers each you know arrange are fixed in a row so you simply push the cargo and the rollers move around so such heavy duty rollers maybe two or three could be fixed somewhere in the other carriage of the vehicle and whenever the other carriage touches the ground they simply roll your car forward uh, this is another here is another invention that you couldn't try 
it is make a return to the old call boxes. Now this should, would uh, sound a kick, but it's very common. For instance, uh, uh, on public places like an airport, someone lands from a flight and their bat the phone battery is dead and they would want to have a booth where they could call their relatives or call for a taxi or something like that. So you could do this at target public places, maybe airports or public schools or hospitals, universities, prisons, police stations. So it would be a good place. Um, uh, the service to provide the service that is no longer available to help people's life uh, become a bit easier. Um, together with this also, you could make on the same, targeting the same public places, you could make public uh, a, a coin operated phone charging booths so that someone in a public park, for example. These days, people are always on their smartphones and these smartphones are, uh, they, they, they run, the battery goes down uh, quite quickly because of uh, the intensive use, taking photos, playing video games, checking uh, and commenting on media, social media, websites, so people are left looking for changes or the phone battery goes down and they don't know what to do. So you could install uh, coin operated phone charging booths in public parks, in shopping malls, restaurants and recreation parks and maybe in the airports as well. Um, Together, maybe these buds can, uh, booths can also, you, 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 you could install screens on them so that they can also serve as advertising platforms. That way you could um, find some companies and convince them to advertise on your booths as well as providing a valuable service to the public. Okay. Um, you could, those of you interested in the construction industry could um, come up with interlocking floor tiles, maybe plastic ones to begin with, or wooden, ones that don't need uh, cement to fix them, simply get them to interlock. I think I've seen some of that, uh, that the wooden laminates, I, uh, by the time I wrote or noted this down, it had, I had not come across them, but right now they are for laminates, which are quite expensive, but you can come up with your own that uh, interlock like a jigsaw puzzle. If you have done this board jigsaw puzzles for children that interlock until they form an image, you could use such an idea to come up with such a, a thing. Another idea here, now this one might not make you money, but it might help you preserve some good elements of the culture. For instance, where I come from, there's a tradition or um, where we, the, we culturally have traditional polish, but the making of the traditional polish, the, the, the practice is dying since um, younger people are not engaged in it because first of all it involves grinding, manually grinding the flour using um, natural stones, usually the drawn from the river. Nat, 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 natural stones, you know, a bigger stone on the bottom and a smaller one that you move with your hands from a kneeling position uh, to grind the paste that is now used to make the 
traditional porridge. Now, um, you could mechanize if you come from one of those communities and you'd like to preserve that beautiful part of the culture, you could mechanize it so that uh, if you look at my drawing here, in the place of the huge stone, you make two round stones um, with a, a, a slight uh, groove in the middle, then another one for the top that fits perfectly, you know, either by uh, on, on the drilled groove, so that it forms something like this. You can put a hado on in there and make a hole on the side where you can put the paste, the mixed flour, the flour mixed with water. And then a hado like this one, and then you can manually move it round and round, making it easy for people to operate. Probably even men can operate that. Or you can affix a mortar like this one with some metallic or wooden stamps so that now um, either a, 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 pet, a petrol driven or electric mortar can move the upper stone and grind the paste and preserve the traditional college making techniques for the next generation. That's, uh, um, on the tourism side, um, if you are a fan of tourism, you could do this. You could, now this could not probably do well during this corona season because people are not undertaking too many outdoor events, but maybe this could be your post COVID-19 project. where you integrate all the major cultural events of the world and replicate them in your locality. For example, you can replicate the bull run or bull, uh, you know, we already have the bull fighting in Kakamega, but there's also this one, the bull run in Spain where a bull is let out free on the streets and um, <laughs> the experts are chased around by the bulls. There is also the tomato festival. I don't remember whether it's still on, in Spain. Where... So when they are running in those countries, you, should, you could also make an event in your country and maybe uh, you could improve the recreational activities in your country or in your city. Um, all those major festivals going a, uh, around in the world, you could replic re replicate them in your town or in your city and uh, hopefully um, also make something out of them. Um, you can also resurrect an old idea there used to be a, something that was attached to the key so that if you lost your key, you could either, it, used, it was called an echo killer. I don't see it anymore. You could resurrect or bring back such an idea so that you, you attach it to your key like a key holder. And if you misplaced your key, you could crack or whistle. And then you could hear a little beep and be able to find your keys if you have lost them. I no longer see these things and uh, you could do that. You could do that and help people find lost items, probably even make it small enough to attach to a remote control, maybe at the back here with an adhesive, so that if you misplace your remote control, you are able to crap and uh, you hear a beep and find the lost remote or car keys or anything else that uh, you could easily misplace and uh, help you uh, look for it. So those 
that's a, a list of things you could do and uh, there is uh, another list of something else you could try and this is a uh, if you're in into cakes and maybe you cannot bake but you can help the cake industry you could make uh, uh, rubber cake decorations you know you see um the concept is like the one for rubber stamp let's see a kick with um, a hand you know hand icing then maybe let's say you want an image of a bird imagine the like the bird logo on twitter then you could cut you know a rubber shape shaped uh, or you know a stamp of a bird and then dip it in edible ink and stamp it on the cake or a flower or anything so that could be another thing especially people who want to decorate cakes but uh, want to use little time and come up with interesting um, uniform uh, designs you could help in that in that way and this is a something that can be done easily using locally available materials you can cut them into different designs and sizes stars animals and the, the possibilities are endless you could also make something else um, if you've noticed when babies are learning to walk they fall a lot and bump into items or they will underestimate the height of a table and hit their head on the on the edges of a table so you could um, help these some of these worried parents by designing a todra helmet a baby helmet uh, made of soft material or rubber or cloth but um, uh, one that um, will absorb some shock so that when the baby falls um, or runs you know under a table and lift their hand they won't be hurt so i don't know how you can do this but you could sure make it as light as you can because of course you don't want to put a heavy heavy material on a baby's hand also some babies don't want to keep anything on their head so you might have straps so that uh, they might help keep the helmet on the baby's head on the baby section also you could make a waterproof jumpsuit for babies so that they can go out play in the water and come back and uh, hope that they will still be dry you know one that is maybe waterproof and uh, has a cloth lining inside but outside maybe waterproof material so that the baby can play um, outside get dirty and wet yet the skin of their bodies will not be wet the, only the suit the outer clothing will be wet and you can do this so that um, if it's a good size but not too big it can be worn on other clothing and then the parents won't have to worry about you know changing their clothes they might be visiting a relative or someone put on the suit on the baby the baby plays remove the overcoat and the clothes inside will still be clean and that way you have helped um, in some way as well as hopefully um, make some money out of it so that's all for today if you have other ideas that you can share with us sometimes you have so many ideas that for sure you cannot implement all of them so you could share them by commenting below the video so that someone might catch the idea and um, implement it hopefully benefit from it and um, that's better than sitting on that idea so thank you for listening 
and see you next time for a different subject or more um, options of innovation and business. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thank you.